Hello folks. Um, the next thing that I would like to talk about, the next tool in the file menu, as we just drop down here, is going to be the insert artwork function. Now this is different from the insert embroidery. When we have a project open and we're working on it, and we want to add a component to a design that's already embroidery, well, that's when we do. That's when we utilize the insert embroidery function. Now, say I'm trying to create a, a design, and I've started with this flower here, but I have a piece of artwork like a, a JPEG or a PNG file or a bitmap um, that has a section of it that I I thought, oh, I'd like to insert that artwork and take a component of it turn it into embroidery, and then incorporate it into this design. Well, you can do that. It's easy. Okay, so we would then use the Insert Artwork feature, which you can click here. You can also engage that feature using the little icon right here. If you hover over this icon, Insert Artwork. Um, you can even insert vector artwork from this, this little button as well. Today I'm just going to insert a, a bitmap image and then I'm going to auto digitize it with the magic wand so you can get a real good idea of how powerful this little feature is. So I'll hit insert artwork and then uh, file types all artwork files. That's automatically selected and let's see here. Here's something that has that looks like it would be easy to use. So now what I've done is I've inserted a piece of artwork. Now I want to separate these two so you can see a little bit better. This is a design that I scanned in from a, uh, I went and bought a coloring book from like the dollar store and then scanned these pages in. Coloring books are great for things like this. So I thought maybe I would insert this artwork then Okay, if we go over to the auto digitize and we hit the old magic wand, then we can select on this piece of artwork and the bitmap, bitmap artwork preparation tool is going to come up. It's picking up because the artwork is pixels and pixel, there's millions of pixels inside a piece of artwork and they're all different shades. Even though what you see here is a black and white image. There's all different colors and variations of blacks all the way to white called grayscale. It's not truly just black and white. So it's important when you bring in a bitmap that we reduce the colors. Right here we have 149 colors available and it's suggesting we put that down to 17. I'm going to bring that down to 2 because I truly just want black and white. So here we are at two. Now we've prepared the image and because we have the magic wand selected as we start hovering over components you can see we can auto digitize any of those components that we touch. And when I touch one it's going to turn the color that I have active which is this green. Of course that can be changed later easily so don't worry about that. But I think yeah, maybe we'll do the center Okay, that's all I'm going to do right now. Just that little center, you can get an idea. Well, let me show you a little more. Okay, I'll turn the active color to blue, and we'll digitize that guy, that guy, that, that guy, and that guy. Now say that's all I want to digitize out of this piece of artwork. Well, you still have your artwork here. Let's just go ahead and hide it. There, we've hid the artwork. And I, I need to get off of the magic wand tool, so I'm just going to go back to the select object tool, which you can do by clicking here or hitting O on your keyboard. Now, we have added embroidery to the design via the insert embroidery. So let me just do something like this here. Yeah. That kind of looks like it fits. I don't know what we do with this guy. Maybe we put this guy here. Yeah, and then we do a control D, which is a duplicate, and I put that guy there. You can come up with some really neat stuff just playing around. So there, we've we've 
greatly enhanced the embroidery by utilizing the insert artwork feature. Thank you.